up people just got a quick little theme deck opening of the spider grandmother from the nightfall release event box just uh bought all of her release event boxes since you can only own one copy anyway all right so the thing that's cool about this deck the spider grandmother is this is actually supposed to be like semi-competitive, like not competitive, but like, you know, you could probably just swap out a few cards and have a decent deck to just go to your local game shop and play. Yeah, so here we go. Spider Grandmother. She's a uh, two forest and two of whatever to play. It's long, or to contract, along with 80 LP. Yeah, and she has that stuff in the corner there. <laughs> at the end of your turn, create two spiderlings, five life points, forest beastie with a, a with five damage attack. That has fear. Yeah, fear. Or is that poison? That must be poison. It's toxic love. Does that? Gives him three. And this attack does five damage for each poison indicator in the arena. This attack can target beasties with flight. Hmm. Axe hand out. Oh boy, it's a fearsome critter deck. Yeah, of course this is viable. Gumbaru alt art. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Times five. Let's look at this. Oh, Gumbaru looking... He looking... Uh, he looking good. <laughs> he looking fabu. Ooh, we got the Lufferlang, or Lufferland, Lufferlang, times three, mm, the rope right, times six, whoa, this is like, well, you get a full place out of rope right, and this guy is probably the most powerful card for Fearsome Critters, like, for every reason why you want to go turn one and you want to get the lightning in a bottle, so that you can play him and play a Gumbrew. Like, that's super powerful play. Bookmark. Feign Death. New Beginnings. Bursting Spiderlings. Times two. Lightning in a Bottle. Times five. Oh, full play set. And one, two, three, four. All right. I think that was nine. Uh, I wasn't. Ah, uh, it's ten. Yes, ten. And 10 four stores. All right, so this is like a really good deck. Like, if you want to play MetaZoo, you may as well just buy this deck and a few packs of. Uh, or I don't know what packs you'd want. I guess you just want a copy of Growth, and you'd probably be pretty set. Oh, yeah, so if you just bought this deck plus Paul Bunyan deck, you'd have like a full competitive deck, basically. Just to get a copy of Growth. And yeah, that does it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit that sub button, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.